Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Dark Quest. All right, well, here we are. Let's get going. We got a battle. You have entered a cave with a large number of goblins who are displeased by your presence. They draw their weapons and prepare for battle. Uh, test party perception or upgrade a hero. Um. I guess we're gonna fight. We are gonna, oh, I didn't think it was gonna be on a narrow path. Ooh, they kinda got us surrounded. Okay, so this is what I wanna do. I want to do the iron barrel, and I wanna put the iron barrel right there to kinda give a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a distraction. Let's see, hold on. No, I want to do, yeah. No, yes. Okay, yep, he's going to attack the barrel. The other dude should probably attack the barrel as well. That's fine. All right, let me do lightning storm. And yeah, zap a couple of these dudes. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Surprise attack. Um, I don't know why it didn't. Oh, that's a passive card. Okay, I was about to sound. I don't know why it didn't uh, sound off with that. Um, oh, we only had that one health potion, didn't we? Okay. Weapon attack. Uh, they're going to be busy down there. So let me... Let me shoot that guy. Get rid of him. Yep, so that guy... Good distraction. We're going to take you, uh, actually, can I do this? Can I throw the axe at, well, you know, if I get rid of that whole line over here, that might be our best bet right there. Oh, our warrior, I thought he had, hmm, did I misread that? I thought he had more health than what he had. Oopsie. Uh, oopsie doodles. Okay. Well, that, so much for that plan. Um, yeah, get rid of this dude. Kill him. dude poor uh <laughs> poor barbarian he went down all right upgrade a hero select a character i don't even know who to select i guess the wizard um oh we can upgrade the car i did not know we could upgrade the card oh that. <laughs> Okay, okay, we learned something new. We have learned something new. I know what I'm doing on the next round. That is for sure. Enter the cave with a large... Um, I guess let's try to run Test this one. your party perception. Four. And we trigger a trap. Can I re-roll? Let's re-roll. One. Uh, Wizard. Okay. Test your perception. Uh, four, <laughs> and and we lost the dwarf, and we lost the dwarf. 
Goblin merchant, human goblin, your coin all glimmers the same. Take a look at my wares and then away with you before any of my brethren catch you. Okay, yeah, let's trade. Uh... <sighs> that would have been nice. I'm going to get that healing potion, I guess. I guess. All right, let's see what happens. Cluttered cave. You enter a cave that is piled from floor to ceiling with junk. There could be valuables buried beneath it all. Roll the dice to see what happens. Okay, let's see what we got here. Three. Three. You find some coins, but they are painted. Painted coins, huh? I don't know... I don't know what painted coins does for me, but tunnel passage. You see a dark, ominous tunnel. Do you dare enter it? I'm going to go for it. It, it. We're probably going to die. So let's go ahead and enter the hey, treasure cave. To your surprise, you find a few bags of gold unguarded and free of traps. We gambled and we won. Entered a cave with a large number of goblins who are displeased. Uh, I guess. Test run. your party perception. Roll six. Six. Managed to escape. Nice. Two guards. You see two goblins standing guard. When they see you, they pause. Clearly, they're debating whether they should engage you or run and alert their cursed brethren in the cave. Roll the dice to see what happens. Three. Two guards immediately attack you. Okay, I, I think that might be a good deal. Okay, so he did get his... He got his shot, but so did that guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do lightning storm. Goodbye. Most definitely good. Archer, test your intelligence. All right, I can... Uh, Archer, I cast a spell on you. Test your intelligence to see if you can resist it. If you fail, your party loses a random card. Oh, that's great. Two. Yep, lost a card. And I can't re-roll. Potion of Heroism. Alright. What do we got? Tunnel Passage. Shall we, shall we go for it again? Uh, hmm. Let's try it. Goblin Hammer. As you enter the cave, you find the infamous goblin hammer. It is stained with the blood of many, many foes. Acquire the goblin hammer. Goblin hammer adds zero to two on yellow cards with body damage. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That's ranged and magic. I don't know if that's going to do us any good. Savager. Something unusual catches your eye in an adjacent cave. Investigating, you find someone trapped in a cell. They explain that they are a fearsome warrior. She looks like a savager. Rescue the savager. Okay. We have unlocked a new hero. Empty cave. The cave is bereft. Of anything, the emptiest cave you've ever seen. I'm not familiar with bereft, but okay. Ceiling collapse. The ceiling in the cave begins to collapse and rocks start falling. Roll the dice to see what happens. Eight. Eight. The entire party takes damage. And it was only the wizard left. The goblin vault. Hey, you we will made need it. a key to enter here. Okay, you have no idea what's locked behind this massive vault. It could be treasure beyond your wildest dreams, or it could be absolutely nothing. Continue. Battle, you have entered a cave. Uh, I could run and test my test perception. Test your party perception. Roll. Nine. Yay, I escaped. Tunnel passage. Enter the tunnel. And there's a battle. Okay. Um, run for your life. See, I feel like if we keep running, Test we're eventually, your party perception. We're eventually going to get somewhere. Three. And we got hurt. Wizard. Test your perception. Five. 
Nice. The Goblin King will the be Goblin most king. pleased to see you. The King of Goblins is flanked by his guard. His pustule encrusted mouth extends into a crooked smile as you enter. In unison, they unsheath their weapons. Attack. This probably ain't gonna go well. Probably not gonna go well. Uh, yeah, let me do a healing potion. Let me hit someone with some lightning. He poked me. He poked me. Um... Yeah, give me out from those two. Wow, that dude has 19 health. That. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> okay, well, there you have it, guys. That was our first run. And I learned a few things. I most definitely have learned a few things. Uh, so let's try it again. Yeah, we'll do we'll do this. Who slot. dares challenge me? Okay, so we've got. Let me see, let me see here. What do we got? We've got the Savager, which has a one to three body damage, bloodthirsty attack can uh, attack again when you kill a character up to one time per battle. Life steal once every four attacks heal one and then gain one damage when you get attacked. I kind of like the sound of that. Six, seven, one, and three. Okay, and then we've got the Lancer. Weapon attack, one to two body damage, also damages the character behind. Gold card or yellow card, that's what it's referring to. All right, parry, blocks a body attack or blocks a body attack and attacks back once every three attacks. Shield Bash removes all actions from the target. Destroy the armor and magic resistance of a creature. And then Sisters, at the start of the battle, summon your Sisters with two health and one damage. Um, four Strength, five Agility, four Intelligence, and four Perception. Okay, I'm thinking... Wizard. Wizard. I'm thinking... Archer. Archer. I'm thinking Lancer. Lancer. And you know, I like the dwarf. I like the idea of a dwarf. I want to have a dwarf in my party, but at the same time, I think that the dwarf didn't bring enough to the table for me. I kind of like her, but I kind of want to do the Barbarian, too, though, because the Barbarian got me through a lot of stuff. Um, but then again, the Savager, or Savage, yeah, Savager, that one might be good, too. I'm going to go with her. Savage, prepare to die. We'll try two of the new units. So, anyway, let's see what we got. We got the Elder, Receiver Rune. Okay, we got Gold Rune plus 30% gold on Adventure cards or Healing Rune. Add 0 to 1 on Healing from Adventure cards. Um, Gold or Healing. I still haven't quite figured this out. I'm going to go healing again. Draw an equipment card. Ring of power. Add 0 to 1 on red cards with magic damage. Or add 0 to 1 on red cards with healing. I think that one. Red cards with magic damage. So that would go for... That would go for him. 
Alchemist, draw a party card. Uh, of course, I want a healing potion. Leave the camp. Enter the forest. Great forest! Alright, let's see what we can do. Ambush. So we're gonna defend ourselves. Alright. So. I can do one to two magic. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that mushroom altogether. Uh, I want you to... Kill him. There we go. So we only lost a little bit of health there. All right, your party grows stronger. Use your experience to upgrade a hero. Choose a hero. I'm going to upgrade the wizard, and we are going to get Lightning Storm. I really feel like Lightning Storm is a very good card here. We got a bear. Savage bear emerges from the woods, surprisingly silent. How did a bear learn to sneak like that? Act fast. Last time, the bear was pretty easy to kill, so we're going to go ahead and go for it. Alright, let me do this. And let me see. 1 to 4 magic damage on 3 enemies. 1 to 2 magic damage ranged. I'm just going to hit him. 4. Nice. Okay, so the ranger took a little bit of damage there. That's fine. Uh, let, me, let me do this. Let me attack and then we're going to retreat goodbye bear i'm going to upgrade a hero here choose a hero i am thinking that i am going to get it was her right yes we're going to do the sisters that way i kind of have like some fodder to throw out on the play field we'll have things to soak up damage and to inflict pain Lady of the Lake. The ethereal Lady of the Lake emerges from the water. The wizard's hubris has thrown my forest into chaos. How can I help you? 40 to 60 gold or draw a party card? Give me a party card. Um, adds two damage on your next attack. Gain one action for this turn. Uh, I'm going to get this card. Beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and you feel all grand. What a day. Increase the party's health by one to two. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, what do we got? Ancient ruins. You reach a decrepit stone structure within the ruins. A large group of undead are gathered around a ruin in prayer. I say we do it. Let's do it. Well, it's not too big of a group. Okay, so... That's one of the sisters, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So the first thing I want to do is hit them with Lightning Storm. And then I want you to attack... Uh, no path to the location. Odd. Okay, we're going to weapon attack. And then we're going to stay right there. Oh, he lives. Okay, that's odd, but all right. That one's dead. And let me see. So we can go again. I don't know who can go. You can go. Um, that is a passive card. Okay. There we 
go. Let me zap that one. Hey, don't you go hitting people. We've got a Ruin 2. Powerful Rune materializes in front of you. Its magic power will surely help your party. Okay, let's acquire that. Uh, magic Rune, 2 Magic Shield at start of battle, plus 1 armor on all heroes at start of combat. Ooh. I... Does that go for everybody? Or is that a card that I've got to play? No, that's, that's, okay, so the rune cards are for everybody. So everyone should have armor now, correct? I think, maybe? Wizard, skull of roll fate. the skull of fate. Nine. Nine, we heal from one to three. Small big numbers, aw. I was hoping for a three. That would have been nice to have a supercharged wizard right there. The lake. River runs through the crack of two mountains, forming a lake. You spot a potential spoils beneath the surface. Roll the dice to see if you find anything. Ten! We, get, oh, we got a ten. Let's see what kind of equipment we get. The amulet or, of perception, or we can add a flail onto the yellow cards with body damage. Oh. That's... I don't know. That would increase our overall... Well, that might increase our overall perception, but... Uh, yeah, that would add a one to our... Mm, I'm trying to remember. Does the One of them has a yellow card, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. Let's go with this one. Um, yeah, the Savager... Savager has okay. Let me let me do this then. Let me add this card to you. Shrine. All right. Uh, let's see. So we could pray for healing. We could pray for a party card, or we can pray for an equipment card. Uh. Man, I don't know. Healing to me, healing sounds like a good thing because the higher our health the more we can sustain. But then again, party cards would be nice too. I'm just going to do a healing. We're just going to keep it simple. Bye. Got the healing. Oh, it's only one character? Um, Archer. So it was only a plus one. Well, that's lovely. That is lovely. But, I mean, I guess one extra health is one extra health. I'll keep that in mind next time. I was thinking it was going to be like a party-wide heal. Because one point for everyone would have been nice. Blacksmith. Draw an equipment card or ask the blacksmith for better equipment. Roll a six and above. Let's get an equipment card. Cloak of Resistance. Plus one magic shield at start of battle or the green amulet. Add zero to one on red cards with healing. So that would also work with that savager. But I think we're going to go with that. And I think I'm going to put that on our, our wizard here. Leave the forest. All right. Go to the undead ruins. Undead ruins. Okay. So what do we have here? Lancer. Test your intelligence. Okay. Uh, you missed the next battle. Oh, that's horrible. Six. Can I re-roll? Eight. Yes. Haha, -ha, we resisted. Lion Fountain. Heal the party by one to four. Yes, heal my party, please. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We got a plus two on our health. Sarcophagus. You stumble upon an aged, dusty sarcophagus. Someone important must have been buried here and maybe their treasure along with them. Open the sarcophagus or move to the next room. This is probably going to be a boss fight, but let's do it. Test your party strength. Uh, test your party strength. See, okay, let's see what we got. Two. Two. We can't force it open. 
Horrible. I was hoping like we'd have a fight, but no. Alright, Horde of the Shamblings. Let's go ahead and attack them. I'm gonna try not to miss too many too many battles just because I think we can get uh stronger heroes if we do. Alright, so let me do this. Yeah, I didn't much care for that. Um, you're the sister, right? Yeah. Seriously? You had to go all the way around, huh? Okay. That one's gone. Why are you going after my archer? Like, I don't understand why you picking on my archer here. Uh, let's see, if your health is less than five, then heal for three to four. Yeah, go ahead, heal. Go ahead, heal, and then kill this person. All right, upgrade a hero. Select a character. So which one do I want to upgrade? I could upgrade the wizard and get a stronger magic. Uh, or I could upgrade this guy, the lancer. I'm trying to remember what the savager has. You know what? Let's upgrade the savager. And we're going to do... I'm going to do this one. Yeah, we're going to get in an extra attack whenever they kill a character. Small chest. Let's open the chest. Open the chest, but sadly it's been picked clean. Wah, wah, wah. Savager, roll the skull of fate. Come on, healing. Eight. Ooh, we got the heal. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Empty room. Search Test the room. Test your party perception. Party perception. Let's go. Let's do this. Seven. Seven. We find a party card. Uh, potion of heroism. Uh, double damage on next weapon attack. Um, I'm going to do this one just so I have options. I say we do the battle. Huh. So, let's see. There's one, two, three, four. I'm going to do this. I am going to use the potion of heroism. I'm going to hit him with the lightning sword. Then I'm going to hit a magic attack on you. Get rid of him. You are the sister, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're the sister. Go attack. Seriously? You couldn't you couldn't go after her. You had to come you had to come and like upset my dude, huh? Okay.
Let's see. Okay, that is a passive card. Um, you know what? Do this first. Oh, he killed him. No, 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 no. I want you. Oh, you've already went, haven't you? We'll just give the mage the kill, or the wizard. I'm going to call him everything under the sun, watch. Alright, well we can upgrade a hero. Select a character. I'm going to upgrade the wizard. Uh, and I'm going to upgrade this one, yeah. Two to four damage there. Super wizard, you know, got to have that super wizard barrel. A handful of barrels are stacked in the corner of the room. You can break them and see if there's anything of value. Break the barrels. You decide to break the barrels. Who knows what secrets they hold inside. Roll the dice to see what happens. Come on. Two. Dude. Seriously. Well, that's what happens when you gamble. Alright. Archer, test your perception. And now we have to test the archer's perception. Come on. Oh. Seriously? Y'all are killing me here. Who's all the good stuff? Savager. Uh, <laughs> Test okay, your perception. Uh, Six. And we receive the maximum damage. Of course it's the maximum damage. Wizard. Another Test one? Test your perception. Nine. Dodge the trap. About time. I'm going to go ahead and attack him. I'm going to attack him. I'm going to use... I'm going to use the lightning spell to weaken him. Did you just attack me? Wait, what? Oh, I'm so confused. I think our person just attacked me over here. Upgrade a hero. Let Select me get a character. You. I'm gonna get surprise attack. And I think we're gonna call it good right there, guys. So, new party. I've got everyone. Every one of the characters has an upgrade card now. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see how long we can take this and where we can go. I'm really digging. I like the uh, the wizard with the upgraded lightning storm card. That one seems to be keeping us alive. So being able to do that, good. The archer with the sneak attack card, we're going to get that first shot off each time. That's also going to weaken them. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.